Hello everybody, my name is Mike Tinnick and welcome to Rebel Cops. Now this is a recent release on Steam and it seems to have been really well received. Uh, this is not the typical genre that I would play, but it was recommended to me by a friend, so I am going to dive right in. Now, from what I saw, it reminds me a lot of that old game, uh, Jagged Alliance, or at least it's in the same vein. Uh, tactical control on certain maps to achieve a larger strategic objective. And I like the idea of that. I like the idea of the small decisions that you make on the battlefield uh, having larger implications and consequences. So, without further ado, let us get this started. Hard mode? No thanks. Normal. So very normal. Okay. Why is that up there? That doesn't seem to make any sense at all. All right. I love it. About 10 armed robbers burst into the central offices of Azam and Sons Bank. They demand an entrance to the vault, but it looks like their goal isn't just to make off with as much money as possible, but to show everyone what happens to businesses who don't play along. That sounds like some of my business. The bank's owner, Danier Azam, is the only major entrepreneur in the area who refused to bow to Victor Zuev the mysterious criminal boss who has seized all of Ripton over the past few months. Where is this Ripton that somebody can just come take it? Okay, Zuev has sole authority in the town. He controls not only the businessmen, but also the local officials and even law enforcement. Azam better not be counting on the police to save his bank. They're on Zuev's payroll. Well, then why is it even a robbery? Why don't they just come take it? I... Okay, I'll, I'll play along. Fortunately, we're not exactly the police. We're the different kind of police. We're the rebel police. We all wear matching cowboy hats and check us out. Who do we got? Approach the bank building with Livet. Okay. We got two actions per turn. Understood. And I'm gonna sneak snog right up Understood. Ha. Okay, all of us. Let's okay. Get I probably should be reading these things, considering I have not played this yet. Advance. Objects that you can interact with are outlined. That different colors represent types of objects and their importance to the mission. Done and done. Like this here window. Hopefully they don't spot my cowboy hat. All right. So what now? Okay. W A O yeah, WASD. I'm familiar with WASD and right mouse button. Go to the window. Let's have us a little look see, shall you we? Bet. Oops. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Alright, let's get in position here. Got it. So are we just gonna like waste these guys or what? Open uh, open the window? They're standing right there. Live it. Are you sure? Okay, you're the done rubber cop. And done. What do I know? I'm just he's gonna sneak snog. They'll never see me. I open windows quieter than anybody. Okay. Come on, Boone. Boone, I you got so. this, Boone. Oh, another. Okay. So, oh, we're we're just opening windows all over the place. Nobody. Got what it. are they gonna do about that? I guess there's a bookshelf in the way. Okay. I will suspend my disbelief. After all, this is the tutorial. I'm not going to read too much into it. At Alar Alardis. Alardis? Alardis. Hide, be hide behind the table. Criminals can't see cops in cover. Yeah, but I bet they can see him just walking on in through the window and ducking down behind this desk. This chair. Oh, come do. on. Allardis. Allardis. Al. Your name's Al. Just calling you Al. <gasps> okay, this guy doesn't... I'm gonna walk through the window 
Okay, all right, what's going on here? If a perpetrator notices something suspicious from a distance, he will become worried and especially attentive. You can try to hide from him, but if you're spotted by someone who is already suspicious, they'll immediately raise the alarm. You know, spotted, like, walking right up okay. next to him after crawling through the window. All right, live it. Huh? What? What? Strike, strike the criminal in <laughs> with a baton, stunning up our two turds. <sighs> I'd be willing to have that on your conscience. Okay, I'm just going to sneak through the window and have a little uh, swinging on the head action with you this bet. here, this here stick. <laughs> Order the criminal to freeze. Okay. Oh, you didn't see me sneak snog through the desk there, did ya? Check this out. All right. Okay, so hands up. Hide behind the shelf. See, this guy is actually making sense. Boone Will isn't do. just waltzing into a room with two guys, probably with guns. He's doing the sneak. The closer your cop is to the criminal, the higher chances he'll be able to convince the criminal to raise his hands. Okay. Well, okay, so we got just over 50% if he wants to... Hold it right there! So if you want, raise your hands. And he did. Okay, so it's kind of a tick down thing. I see that. Each tick down is a turn that they are in their state. Understandable. Turn four. All right, let's get the arrested criminals immediately disappear from the level and no longer cause you problems, unlike dead bodies. Corpses remain lying on the ground, so sentries may notice them and raise the alarm. Well, now that I gave you the the, the, the whacking, I'm going to give you the the hooks. Face on the floor! Get you the hooks. Or I'll give you a whacking again. All right, we got that guy. That guy still has a gun in his hand. Move forward. I'm not moving in front of this guy. Understood. Yes, I am. All right. Approach the criminal. Roger. That's, okay, you get two different actions. You get the move, and then you get whatever action this is. To put an immobilized criminal in cuffs, you'll need to stand on a neighboring cell. Diagonal works, too. Excellent. Can do. Face on so, the floor! Apparently, this game is a spinoff of another called This is the Police. I never played This is the Police. But this does, like I said, it reminds me of Jagged Alliance, but also the old SWAT series of games. So it is kind of nice to see uh, this Roger. genre brought back to life. Because I don't know the last release that was like this. Well, besides, this is the police. So, you are under arrest. Good, good old Boone's getting You're under hooked. arrest, asshole! Okay. Click, clack. Uh, what are we doing with these guys? We're not cops anymore. What, what do we, what do we do about that? Okay, moving on. Take a position to the left of the door. You got it. Getting ready for some breach and clear action. Okay. Come on, Al. Done there, and Al. done. Get up there, Al. Open the door. And opening the door. Done and done. And hoop. Hey, what's this? Ooh, there's a thingy. Can I go get the thingy? I can't get the thingy. I have to follow the rules. You bet. Partners have to look out for each other. If a cop is moving somewhere that a criminal will notice, then any cop nearby will warn him of the danger. Just one more reason it's a good idea to keep together. A cop can warn of danger only once per turn. A walkie-talkie symbol on his portrait means the cop hasn't yet spent his turn's warning ability. Excellent. I like that. That was a great mechanic. The eye symbol under a cop's feet means that one of his partners is watching out for him and will warn him in case of danger. I like it. Oh, danger. Live it, live it, see something. Buddy warning. Stop. Stop, buddy. Let Boone handle this. Boone took down the one guy all by himself. I Will like do. Him. And there's somebody over here. Man, these are like the most unobservant criminals ever. Got it. Ever. Maybe they're just super high. Suspects. Come on, suspect. I dare you. 
I'm gonna... Can I sneak up and give him the belly club? What am I doing? Well, why would I go with this guy first when Boone's got him? Alright. I'll hide behind the shelves. Done and go? done! Shoot the criminal with the... Aw, oh, taser. Boring. Okay, eight turns. So, it better work. Right away! And kapow! In the face! Usually people don't just stand there after getting tased, but I'll... Do, okay. okay. Alright. Boone, Boone will take care of you. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Sneak snot. Arrest him. And arresting. Hands where I can see them! Dude, you don't have to yell. He's right there. Sweet. Alright, I think that's four down now. Approach the table. Affirmative. Here's some goodies. I'm gonna get your goodies. What is this? Give me the note. You'll sunt Yeah, read the note. <clears throat> Sweet. Okay. Robbie? Ro no, wait. Robbie? Yeah, here we go. Robbie, my patience is at an end. This damn door will never open. I called the locksmith for the third time and he promised to come again, but of course he didn't come. Seems like I. Re wait, I I'm down here. It seems like ever since the boss told Zuwub's assholes to F off, we become outcasts or something. They don't even want us to deliver pizza anymore. Uncle Rhett gave me a set of lockpicks. He said they've been laying them in the garage since them thieving days in his stormy youth. But I don't know dick about using lockpicks. You can try, maybe you'll get lucky. All right, let's go. Did we get a lockpick? Suspects. Okay, looks like we got some hostages. In there, we got two dudes here. All right, Al. All right, you're up, Al. Let's get up to the window. Why is there a window right there in the in the bank? Doesn't seem very. Why am I still talking like this? Doesn't seem very secure. Open. Really, guys? This guy is looking right at you. You, Al. You have the worst instincts. Just let Boone handle this, please. God, man. Affirmative. I mean, he, well, he can see Boone, too. What is he? Ugh. Hide. Boone, I thought you were the smart one. Study your enemies and you'll notice that everyone behaves differently. Most criminals patrol the area along different routes. An enemy with his arms crossed on his chest won't budge unless he's disturbed. You got it. Yeah, well, we'll see about that now, won't we? When I just waltz right in. Don't mind me. My cowboy hat. Okay. Go to the door. Oh, done Lord. and done. <clears throat> See, Livet's got the right idea here. Okay, pick the lock. Yep. Okay. And there's somebody over here. And oh, oh no! Oh, we did a bad. We screwed up. We screwed up bigly. Big live, live it. You might want to move. No. We're all gonna die. No, <laughs> live it. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. He's moving. Help, Al! Al, I opened the door and they, they did the shooting on me. I need, can, so what do we do about that? Can we help him? Can we help him? I'm not going through that window. Right, so, so. Oh. Ha, missed. And boom. Well, you're shooting offhand like that. No wonder you're missing. A proper technique or anything. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not even a scratch. What was that? Was that like a graze or a... What happened? Is Boone? Boone, are you okay? Alright, yeah. Can we please help live it? Shoot the... Cr oh, na see, now we're talking. Good thing the cop was wearing Kevlar. Takes a couple shots before he can't go on. Now your cop can fire back. Accuracy depends on how close you are, how good you are, and whether the enemy is out in the open. Oh, I'm going to do the shooting right back on you. And I'd rather not... Like, I know he's close, but can I just do a center mass? All right. Understood. Face it is. Kablam! And... Uh... Okay. Kaboom. Affirmative. 
man, Boone. I knew I liked Boone. Okay, this time you were lucky, but don't expect your cops to always hit their targets. Keep an eye on the accuracy meter and consider your chances. Is there ammunition? And the, oh, your sniper isn't just a cold-blooded killer. He's also a scout. He can instantly scope out the situation in any room. Nice. Okay, let's have Took a look. Took a look inside. The guy who shot Livet. Conrad Old Spice. All right. Go to the wounded cop. Okay. Right go. away. You can save Livet. Can I also go to that door? Okay. Okay. Yeah. First things first. Get. Give me you. Get. Give me you. Large med kit. Hang in there. Okay. I assume that uh, there's limited amounts of these types of things. Otherwise, what would be the uh, the point here? Okay. Approach the hostage. Will Excellent. do. Can I search the bodies? I would like to search the bodies. Not all hostage. Okay. Save. Understood. And do these guys disappear as well? Walk up to the table. Roger. Hey, man. Live it. You just don't get enough, do you? That guy's behind that door. What is this? Lock metal doors can't be kicked in or picked. They need to be opened by code, but you'll need to find out what it is. Okay. Read the note. Oh, Cindy, the rumors turned out to be true. Ever since the air conditioner broke down... Andy sits in his office shirtless when there are no customers. You can try to take him by surprise. The code from his office is 1111. But just don't tell him that it was me who blurted out the code. <laughs> you know, good luck. All right. I don't know who that guy was, but that's what he sounds like. Keep Will do. Ha. I got your code. And I'm probably going to walk right in and get shot again in the face like we did last time we did this exact type of thing. All right, I guess we're going up to the door. Or can I search a dead body first? Suspect. Will do. No, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Can I stop? I don't want to. Can I search him? I, I cannot search him. Okay, I'm going to save you. Understood. That dude in the vault's obviously not going anywhere, so. And maybe, do these guys tell us anything? Okay. All right. Now, Al, you're going to get right yourself away. right up here to the vault. But you're not doing it alone. We need to get uh, Livet back up there. Okay. I oh uh, no, I don't I don't want to. I don't want to. How do I how do I be done? Intern. Maybe the big intern button. We're not going in there. Yet. Okay. Is there any way to get him to come out? I'm sure we got like uh, some kind of smoke bombs, something like that. Let me wazzed up here. Yeah, all right. Wait, right, that's Al. I don't want Al. I want Livet. All right, Livet, Mr. Bet. Rainbow, take a bullet and keep moving. You're going to get there. There's obviously bad bads in the vault there. Oh, ooh, ooh, perks. He has patience. He has chameleon. He's dodging bullets. Black Knight. If the cop gets wounded in the armor leg, he can still fight on until he bleeds to death. That's metal. That's what I'm talking about. Boone? Boone, we need you. Come on, you get over here too. Done and done. You're done shooting up the place. All right, now it's time. Now it is time. We're coming in there. is one 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 great security at this bank mm. Mm. <laughs> he's ready uh-oh oh ho hello hello can i'll go in there okay i'll let's let's get you over here you bet. do we see anyone Okay, we are not going to do that. What about you, Livet? Can you move? You cannot move anymore. Yes, you can. So we'll get you here. Got it. 
Uh oh. Oh, oh, there's three of them. Okay. So let's get who can move. Boone? Boone. Can you move? Okay. No one else can move. We're done here. Do they see me? Okay, yeah, they got the little exclamation mark. I assume they gotta know this is over. Oh god, but they have two hostages. Alright, that one didn't wing ding me. Didn't wing ding me. They're desperate. <laughs> Stinky. Locked in a vault. Do I get to keep... Oh, jeez. They're not going to hit me. I'm in most cover. I'm guessing that's what the shield is. So can we please end this? All right. Live it. Actually, we're going to get Al. You're going to cross the way here. Get behind a desk. That is amazing cover. Right? I don't know if I want to do that. I'm going to do Will do. Hoop, hoop. Can't see me. Can I tase you? Who can get tased? Okay, he's obviously not going to listen to me. Uh, do I want to shoot these guys? Let me get Boone up here. Boone knows what's going on. Okay, no, I don't want to do any of that. Come here, Boone. You're in. Get you, get. Okay. Okay. Get you right up to the door there. Hoop deep. And live it. The guy keeps going. Now, all right, now it's a, ha. All right, now we're back in the three-on-one switcheroo situation here. Can I shoot or make them listen to me? He might. He might. I will try. Stop or I'll shoot. What, really? <laughs> it worked. You, sir, are a wuss. Where's Boone? Boone, no, you hang out there. We need Al. Al, you need to yell at this guy. Yell at him. I don't know how convincing you are, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Or maybe we can shoot him. No, we can't do anything, can we? Boone, what about you? Maybe we can shoot the guy who uh, just surrendered. That would be nice. That would be great if we could do that. And uh, no, nothing. We got a whole lot of nothing. Okay, he's not going to sit still much longer. I'm going to get uh, Al back there, sneak around him, and make the arrest, and hopefully not get shot in the face in the process by this guy. He's desperate. Maybe I can... Okay, Al, come here. Can you do this? I'm trusting you, Al. You take this guy down. And then, live it. You're going to get right. Oh, this better work. Okay. I probably should have gone around behind him and not directly in front. That was a dumb. I'm being a dumb. You. Hands up. No. You don't want to listen. That's going to end really badly for me. I, I know it. Oh, yeah. I can get behind Will you. Do. You're surrounded, man. Give it up. Okay. Can I yell at you? I can't do a damn thing. Oh, this is bad. Al, can you do anything? Tell me you can arrest this guy. No! <laughs> He's gonna stop freezing, though, and then I'm gonna get shot in the face. Oh, this has gone horribly. That's okay. We're still in this. <gasps> no! No! Jesus no. Christ! Oh! Oh, no. Al, no, Al. No, Al. Oh, God, I can't shoot both of you. I, oh, that was just pure luck. This could not have gone much worse. Are there take backs here? I'm avenging. Why well, can't I barely... Sh oh, my. Center mass, please. You're going to miss. Okay. Okay. Hoop. That's a miss. Maybe shoot this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting a shot on you, buddy. Right in the chest. Understood. Hoop. 
can't believe I just walked right in here. I thought I understood the mechanic. The mechanics. I am trying, guys. I am trying. Don't. Don't. Not in the face. Not in the face. Oh, God. So lucky. I guess it doesn't matter much since my guys are just dead and laying there. Can I just go up and billy club you? You bet. I don't, I don't even want to shoot you. I'm going to hit you in the face really hard. You bet. Ha. Take that. And we're going to end the turn. Well, my guys are just bleeding out. Dang it. I wanted Boone. I hope that doesn't mean that I just lost the, the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Let's go. And now you're under arrest. And that guy can just die. He can lay there and die. He shot Al. And Boone. Okay, yeah, you're just... Oh, I could hit him in the face again? I wonder how many times I could just sit here and whack him in the face for killing Boone. Hands where I can see them! That went horribly. You call that victory? Sure, I'll take it. Thank you. All right, so what next? I imagine there's going to be a strategic map of some sort. Uh, some sort of management or a bigger plan. Okay. Little is known of Victor Zua. They say he lived in the USSR. And after the country collapsed, he went into racketeering for a while. But he crossed someone from the KGB and was forced to flee. All this is nothing more than a rumor. But we do know something. He has an amazing talent for persuasion and intimidation. Politicians, judges, cops, criminals, priests, even doctors. All the elites of Ripton have bowed their heads before him, not offering even the slightest resistance. Under the circumstances, Zuev is conducting all his business through assistants and proxies. No one knows for sure what he looks like or where he lives. Getting to Zuev will not be easy, but Ripton won't be saved until he's in handcuffs. The hunt for Zuev. We're just a small detachment of rebel cops who refused to serve the criminal organization. Defiantly left the department and went underground. Instead of the police station, we meet in a rotten cabin in the woods. Instead of patrol cars, we have an old furry cola delivery van. That is awesome. Instead of dinners in the dining hall, we eat dried apples. Instead of weapons from the army, we share rusty revolvers and a handful of bullets. But we continue to proudly wear the uniform. We might be outside the law, but we're the only ones protecting it. That is right on. Rebel supplies are usually pretty thin, so before each mission, remember to visit the merchants. Okay, merchants. Operations budget. Fighting criminal empires is a costly exercise, so the good people of Ripton scrape together a small budget for you. This money will help you get started, but it's the savings of the poor, and they'll need it back before long. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Street cred shows how people of Ripton generally feel about you. They're not going to be happy if you ignore their problems, or if innocents die during your operations. Take this indicator seriously. It affects the mood of the only guy who's brave enough to do business with you and other things as well. So, what do we got? We got $1,200. Gear bags. Increase the capacity of all cops' inventory from 3 to 6. What do we have? Like, can I see what we have? Alright, what is this? Pistol ammo. When buying and selling items, you can select multiple items at once before you make the purchase. Okay, what kind of ammo does this take? More accurate and reliable than a revolver. I feel like a helmet. Body armor. I don't know. I don't know what I want to spend my... I don't know. Okay, so for the pistol, obviously pistol ammo, because I have big brain. And let's get another, since it's cheap. Probably body armor. Oh, wow. That's my entire budget. All right. Let's take it down. Since we're trying not to kill everyone. I take it. We're trying to arrest these guys. So, body armor. Silencer. Oh, so many good things I want. Uh, 
You know what? I don't want to buy junk, though. I know I could get a revolver for less. But, it says here that the pistol more accurate and reliable. So, I'm not going to go for junk. And a lockpick, because I can't. I just spent all my money, and I might regret this greatly. Okay, we got stuff. Yesterday, Victor Zuev's people came to my house and said that they needed my services. Of course, I told them I was just out of the hospital, but they dragged me from the house and told me very clearly that the main boss himself needed me. Apparently, Zuev has always wanted to learn how to shoot a sniper rifle, and he heard that I'm the best in town. I don't know how I'm going to shoot after his thugs danced around on my fingers, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm leaving. I have a family, and if Zuev finds out that I've been working with you, he'll take it out on them. And let's be honest, we don't have a chance, and my children need to eat. Fair enough, Shvets. Shvets. Okay, completed. What is this? You know what? Now that we got this far, I think this is a good stopping point for episode one. We barely, barely stopped the bank robbery. All the hostages were rec rescued safely, but I lost Al and Boone, and I love them dearly. So, we are going to pick this up very shortly because I am already intrigued in this game. I like the mechanics. It's simple, yet it has some depth to it. Like, the mechanics are easy to grasp. Uh, I like the concept. The story itself is good. A town living in fear, but for a few rebel cops, a few heroes that are going to take this whole place back. I like it. So, thank you ever so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like. I would be ever so grateful. And go ahead and leave a comment below if you have any tips for me to avoid getting two-thirds of my team killed in the future. See you next time. Bye-bye.